It's Tuesday, April 16th. Taking a look at Palms Brooks. It's been a while. Where we have it now is located, still saying it's in the Aries constellation, but it's entering, it's in the nose of the whale, approaching Taurus constellation. And we got Jupiter and Uranus right here, the pointer's at, moved away from Aries, now in Taurus. And we got Saturn and Mars moved away from the waterfall in Aquarius. We got Venus in Pisces and the sun in Pisces. They're saying the tail is 13 million kilometers. This is from Jerusalem. Now let's fast forward to the 17th. Okay, on the 17th, okay, we got Mercury and Venus next to each other and the sun and all in Pisces. We have Comet 12P, Uranus and Jupiter moved in more closer to Taurus. So that's on the 17th. Okay, taking a look at the sky for any new updates. So there we have Jupiter and Venus and, and Uranus all approaching Taurus constellation. They have it at a 4.4 in Aries. Okay, as of today, the reason there's not that many photos is because it's in the elliptic orbital plane. In other words, by the equator. And it's difficult for the amateurs, astronomers, to, to take an image of it. But we do have spacecrafts and we do have observatories that could do that. And they still, to this date, have not provided that information. So there we have it. That's where it is right now is basically crossing the orbital plane of Earth. They're saying it's, so according to this data, it's two million miles less in reaching the orbital plane of Earth right here. Let's take a look, see if NASA updated their stuff yet. But before we go, on the 20th, that's when it enters the Taurus constellation. And the 21st being Passover. That's the, when it gets the closest to the sun. Now, taking a look at JPL, they still, it's been now going on four weeks, four weeks, and they they, they, they stop updating the number of observation. In other words, there's nothing to see here, folks. Let's recap. On the 20th, this was the observation, and this was Haley. It, it was 7,428, but... They, they adjusted it to 8,548, which would, would have made it the number one, it's the number one all-time observed comet in modern history. So they froze it. They put the pause button on the 20th. That's four weeks. So technically, Haley is still number one, even though Haley had 158.39 years of observation compared to Comet 12P Palms Brooks. So apparently there, you know, um, we do have some images that this is from the ninth posted and if you look closely let me get the the pointer out okay i got that right there where you got that distortion right here still present it hasn't gone away i mean just visualize this that wave physics all of a sudden it just turns into a square type pattern shape object and you got another one right here since we have no close-up we have no observatories we have no spacecraft clues zoom in we're just depending on depending on the amateurs that have these type of setups versus the and they're providing great images versus this these observatories that are missing have been missing in action ever since palm brook showed up to the scene in my books is the number one all-time comet observed comet in history and yet have we seen any of these images? No. Yeah, looking at the amateurs over here in uh, Comet Watch. See, it makes it difficult because it's now closer to the sun. But we do have some. Like, for example, this one was taken. See, it's right now at the equator, but pretty soon it'll be in the southern hemisphere. So the people down south, like in Australia and down south, anything south of the equator, they'll start. Be, they'll be able to to start getting some images for us so right now we're like in uh how you say it in the uh, hard to get image zone pictures to the one day ago it's, it's too close to the sun as it rises and you barely can see it because of interference from the sun so uh, in a couple of days it'll pass the equator and on the 21st it'll be the closest to the sun and like i said those in the south hemisphere will pick it up see what i mean it's difficult for them to even attempt but there, there are there are some successful. There've been some successful images here. This gentleman right here was able to catch this, and you can see the the wave distortion. It hits like diverts right here. Still got that spiral look to it. So 
that's where we're at right now. Too bad we can't get no cooperation. Take a look over here in the in the Russian site. So it's on the 15th. Take a look at it. Okay. Like I said, it's, it's, it's real difficult for them to, to, to see it. This was on the 15th also. This is a stereo image. And look like the sun is interacting also. What catches my attention is this right here. Right here. Apparently there's a lot of solar solar wind since it's close to the orbital plane where well, it is right now. Might explain a lot of CME eruptions on the left side of the sun. Now this image here was taken on the the eleventh, large scale two. Now if we had to put the where the comet's at, comet be right here. Right in that location. So apparently the sun is uh reacting to the comet, in my opinion. Here's another one from April twelfth. So apparently just looking at this. It's having some sort of interaction. Again, too bad we can't get close-ups. Okay, looking at space weather today, the 16th, whole bunch of M-class. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six M-class flares within the last 24 hours. This was back in uh, Sunday. We had a red blob. I've, I've captured this before in one of my prior videos in the sky mysterious red blob but i want to show this regarding the asteroids after i remember this it was zero and then they added all these others and apparently the ninth the eighth and the ninth were very active a swarm and who knows and if you look at the list uh, so much has been added look at the dates so many asteroids has been added to the list so there is activity up with uh, regarding asteroids and looking at the sun today we got a lot of a lot of activity on the sun especially this area right here this is today that region right there so there we have it now this story here is very sad that this judge is not letting president trump attend his son graduation tomorrow it's, it will threaten to arrest them now this is pure pure evil pure evil what they're doing here it's pure evil this if people can't see this for what it is there's no hope none you don't do this your son graduate is grad i don't care what party you belong to i mean let the man go see his son's graduation and to put your father to put the father in jail if he does go see his son's graduation what evil does this okay so that's all i have for now uh really we're gonna have to wait to the 21st when it gets close to the sun when it gets to the southern hemisphere and so the people from the south hemisphere could take a look so that's where the comet's at right now total blackout until next time let father out don't forget to subscribe hit the thumbs up share the video comment until next time